Greetings, I'm Rob Chappers. And I'm the captain. We're here at Anderton's to show you some new awesome Gibsons. We certainly are, and I might just put this cowboy hat on here because it makes me look badass. Yes. Actually, it probably doesn't. Um, <laughs> this is part three of our Gibson 2014 guitar review, uh, where we're going through all the new Les Pauls released for 2014. And the next one I have is the new 2014 Studio. Les Paul Studio. Um, now, Last year, 2013, there was one studio in the range. This year, we're now gonna have two. We're gonna have the studio, which is this one, which is a lower price guitar than what we had before, and the Studio Pro, which is just over Rob's Ooh. shoulder there. Um, we should have a guitar on that slot, you know, Rob, I think. Just, just do that. It'll upset no, me it's if we behind, don't. It's behind, it. there you go. But put it, put it up I'll there. I'll put it up there. And what, could we have another one I'll on grab that one? nice one I had I a minute ago. I think you should do. And put it there, and then we'll be. And then for continuity's sake, see, I like it. <sighs> Nice. So, Les Paul Studios, you guys know, is designed to be kind of like a, a cut down version of a Les Paul standard. So quite a few of the features here have been seen in previous guises on a standard. So we have the Clues and Deluxe style tulip machine oh. head. I'll go this way, you'll see it better over here. Oh. Uh, we have the 490R and 490T um, pickups, which again have appeared on Les Paul standards over the years. Uh, we have a proper mahogany body with a maple cap. Now we're getting into a little bit of flame, so we've got the double A flame tops on this one. Uh, we have a, a maple neck, uh, which is not, um, you know, not normal, if you like, on a Les Paul, uh, but with a rosewood board, which is normal. And we have, again, this nice uh, 120th anniversary um, Thingy on the 12th fret here, thingy. inlay on the on the 12th fret, because of course Gibson are 120 years old in 2014. Wow. That's an old guitar that company. It's old, isn't With it? A few tricks up their sleeves to make some great well, guitars. Well, they ought to know what they're doing by now. Um, so let's have a little bit of a run through. What other things have we got on here? Um, well, what are the strings, Lee? Strings, um, apparently now all Gibson guitars are coming with a clear tone coated really? strings. Which Did are, not know that. They are like that. Um, like the elixir type thing, I think, where obviously it stops the sweat from your fingers rusting the strings. So hopefully that first batch of strings that you put on the guitar will just last a little longer. Um, what else do we know about this? Ah, of course. So this is the first one now in the lineup where you can have a 60s taper neck. Uh, and uh, unlike the schoolboy error that I made in a previous video, you can now feel that this is a, a thinner taper <coughs> 60s neck. Well, wait, I've got the, the standard with the 50s, yeah? Traditional. Should we have a neck off? And then, hang on, I don't know what's on a traditional. Hold on. I think it's the 50s. Hold on. Feels 50s. Do you know what? Here's the thing. Right. Here's the thing. I now know what's on there because I've just read it. Yeah. Rob doesn't know, so he's just going to do from a feel. Is it 50s or 60s? Yeah, well, I've, I've got 50s, you've got 60s. You're bang on, spot on right. Of course. Let's have a neck off, though. Look at this. Neck off. What does that even mean? Just show them the two necks side by side because <laughs> that's, that's what I would do. I'm gonna have a raspberry. Have a raspberry leaf. Look, mm. Look at the difference. There's such a difference. This one's okay. chubbier. This one's a little bit skinnier. This is your skinny blonde. This is a bigger brunette. You want the bigger brunette, really, don't you? That's what you want. <laughs> um, oh, let's have a little listen. Got speed knobs, which are the ones with the little kind of indentations on them, so that um, cryogenic frets, cryogenically frozen frets. Um, let's give you a, a blast on the tones of this guitar. Is it weight relief? This guitar is it weight relief? <clears throat> it says it is mo modern weight relief. So this should be a little bit more taken out of this than there is on the traditional weight relief um, or no weight relief. It's, it's, it's so light. It's um, it's just almost floaty. Um, okay, so here is my neck rhythm pickup. <laughs> Loving the fact that it's hum free, yes. unlike the uh, P90 one that we had earlier. You can jazz it up. Um, you can have both pickups together. Or you can just have the bridge pickup on its own. And of course you can crunch it up. Or 
you can really rock it up if you want to. If you want it to look even cooler, you can unscrew this scratch plate, which looks horrendous. Yeah, it's a, I don't know, it's a sort of... Um, it's a mustardy coloured sound of scratch plate, but of course, colour-wise, there are lots of different colours in this. But yeah, so this has a, a kind of a mustardy coloured um, pick guard on there. I guess it matches the surrounds around the pickup. Gives it again that slightly kind of, I've had this guitar a while and I've played in a lot of smoky bars and that's kind of what would happen. But if you don't like this colour, you can also have it in four or five other colours, which I'm sure Dan will be putting across the screen now. What are the features are on there then, Lee? Well, what we've also got now for the first time in the range is we've got some coil taps. Ooh. Um, so I've got my the two volume controls both pop out so that I can independently tap the pickups if I want to. Um, notice the hum, no hum. Uh, yeah, so we've got uh, coil taps or splits. It says taps on the on the spec sheet, and it also, according to the spec sheet, has an orange drop capacitors as well. That's because they're tastier than lemon drop it capacitors. It certainly is. Lee, do you want to try my camouflaged plectrum from Let me Planet show Waves? Where's it gone? It's on your leg. Ah, oh, there it is, yeah. yeah. That's effective. It's very camouflaged. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is the neck pickup with um, in regular humbucker mode. And I would say that is a tap, you know, rather than a, a split. Because it, it hasn't quite got the spank of a, of a, of a single coil. It's uh -huh. just sort of single coil-esque. Um, and you can do the same with the treble pickup. So you can even do combinations of them and stuff when you're in the middle positions. That is versatile. That is very versatile. It's very versatile. It's amazing it wasn't very versatile. Made by Germans or something. Yeah, man. That was uh, nice, actually. 